Here are things I did all throughout the week to feel very polished, put together, and very beautiful as a woman. If you liked this feminine maintenance vlog, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for more high quality style, life, and elegant living. And don't forget to give this a like because low quality lifestyle is a global issue. It's really important for me to wake up early, especially with the sun. I like to first thing serve my family by making some tea or coffee this morning. I'm making some tea from Fortnum & Mason. It's Rose Puchong. I love using this electric kettle. I'll have everything linked below in case you're interested along with the tea. It's important to start off the morning right and I have different types of tea for everyone in the family. Then I work out. I know it looks funny that I'm working out in flip-flops, but I am protecting my feet because I love to barefoot run. And I start by protecting my feet first so they're not completely damaged and I get to enjoy this view. It's great to breathe properly and calm your mind and your nerves, your nervous system and your sympathetic system before you start the day so you can think clearly. And here's me enjoying the view again. One side is the city, the other side is nature. This side, our backyard is nature. And I also appreciated the light in my office today because it was really beautiful and golden. I completely forgot that I need to do Christmas cards for the whole family and need to send them out ASAP because they're being sent abroad. I have a video coming out on how to hand wash silk because I just hand washed these tops. These are tops that are 100% silk and skirts 100% silk that I wear every single day from Madame La Fleur and from Kintz. And I'll have the video's reviews linked below and subscribe and click the bell for how to hand wash silk. And this is how I like to maintain my start of the week by taking care of the clothes that I know I'm going to wear for the rest of the week. This way I also don't have to think because these are my capsule wardrobe items. some skirts here that are the same they match one two three four five six and then i'm currently wearing one of them right now so they are so easy it took like one minute to steam each item or even less it was really easy peasy that's why it's good to get a really good high quality steamer have everything ready so i have those pink velvet hangers and then now i need to fold a bunch of clothes Oh, and I wanted to mention this top from Remy Brook. You can wear it in eight ways or more depending on how creative you are. And it actually matches this quince skirt, which is from a brand from San Francisco. Remy Brook is from New York and they're both 100% silk. And these are the exact same color. They might look a little different now because I just steamed these. So these have some moisture to them. They might look a bit richer, but this is um, 
they're almost the exact same color but i remember when i first got them i was so pleasantly surpri surprised they probably have the same supplier but this is my whole silk wardrobe and i'm very proud of it i got this valley from amazon and it's been helping me with my productivity getting ready faster for the day by having my outfit ready the night before i managed to build up a bit of a collection of all my vogues and allure and i don't like to have a bunch of magazines laying around unless i give them away with my poshmark orders for free i found some articles and bookmarked a bunch of the ones I want to read and I'm going through them now and my husband is waiting before he starts his football games or soccer so that he can play with his friends but he doesn't want to be too early so we're just hanging around husband a little something to show him I appreciate him to go with another gift that he's receiving for Christmas. This is to start him off at his new job that we are moving across the country for and I want him to feel fantastic on his first day and this is his new lucky tie. He said thank you so much. I absolutely love giving gifts and he needed something silk. He doesn't really have a lot of silk. He has wool and cashmere but not silk. He works so hard and I'm so appreciative of everything he does so he deserves a little surprise every now and again and if I could I'd give him all the surprises in the world. It's like, how many people do you know save babies for a living <laughs> and dedicate their life to saving lives every minute of the day and have crazy hours doing so?
not really something that everybody does in their arsenal aside from like makeup and skincare routines so I have this teeny tiny widow's peak I don't know if you can see but you can barely see it because I've been maintaining it but it has been coming out quite a bit it's been sticking out and it's just like this little piece this little batch of hairs that comes down and I don't even count that one it just comes down and out and it doesn't decide on which side it goes on and it always makes things a bit more complicated and then my what I call sideburns you can see these are cut with this little razor I have it I'll have it linked below it comes in a set it's really 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 affordable it's like less than five dollars I think it's like two or three dollars for a set of them and you can get 10 for like five six dollars or something like that in amazon it'll be linked below but what i like to do is shape this so i'm probably eventually gonna get it lasered because um it's something that i'm finding myself doing all the time and i don't like the, the grisliness and my whole body is lasered for those of you who don't know so my life is easy and i don't have to worry about ingrowns and i typically just do a body brush which i'm gonna do it in a bit while i wait for this to develop it makes my face way more symmetrical and i took before and after photos it really does so i'm gonna do this in the mirror but this is essentially what i do i don't cut like recede my hairline all the way back that's dangerous because it will eventually do that permanently if you keep doing that and I, when i first tried it i cleaned up the whole thing and which it looked really beautiful but i'm just gonna do this because that's so much maintenance and i'm not a fan of going crazy i look really flush from this look that i tried i was experimenting with my westman atelier lip suede in the nude and it's really pretty but I, th I think i went too dramatic and vampy with this look so i just do this and i also do a bit of this it makes the application of makeup smooth and skincare smooth and also you can exfoliate a little better so i do it like this just to clean it up do it very gently very softly and i saw this vlogger whom i love but then she turned and i saw like hair coming down her neck like this like coming out of like this part of her neck I was glad I don't have that, but it kind of made me evaluate my face in a bit. And this also makes your face separate from your hair and come forward without wearing jewelry. And the reason why I wear jewelry is to attract the light to my face, especially when you get older, they say that it helps and you, can't, you don't wanna be heavily applying makeup every single day, so. That's something I do, but I'm not, I don't shave my whole face. Like I know a lot of people who properly dermaplane going to the med spa and, get, and spending a fortune on it and then doing it, but your face gets really tender and it feels very delicate that you have to be careful. And I don't do that, not yet at least. And I don't really plan on doing it. I just want to clean up my hairline essentially. Okay, so this is this side. This is not done, but this is this side, It's it's done. It makes your face look like it comes forward from your hair even if you have a ton of thick hair like me my hair grows really fast so it, it makes your face stick out where I used to be like this with my they're not actual sideburns but my hair is just really dark and noticeable so it's really obvious when it's down here I know this is a really weird thing but it's a trick that's been helping I'm gonna do this in the mirror but it's, it's a trick that's been helping me and it looks more soft and feminine rather than being like guys have a ton of facial hair and sideburns that they try to manicure. I also use this for is when you have a little patch of dry skin that you didn't get in your exfoliating routine, say if you're using your Lancer Method Polish as I do, or a face spinning brush to really get in there. What I do is get that extra dead skin that's sticking up and gently go over it a couple times, but I don't like press down hard. Just be very gentle with this. The lighter the hand, the better. And it's not something that you wanna rely on all the time. So don't constantly be picking your face. Just have really good skin, take care of your skin, eat right, get enough sleep, wash your face, properly wash your hands before touching your face and wash your your pillow and your bed sheets, and then resort to this as the very, very last resort. 
This looks like it's ready, so I'm gonna take off my shirt. I'm not gonna film that. I'm gonna dye my hair and I'll show you a bit of what it looks like when I, I'm, I'm, well, actually I'm gonna ch ch change my shirt into a really old shirt so it doesn't get all over my skin, but I am going to dye my hair and then after I shower, I'm gonna trim my hair again to see when it's wet, when I brush it down, how even I actually cut my hair so I can clean it up. So, see you in a bit. <music> shaving my hairline here my widow's peak is i completely forgot that there are stray hairs that get in the way and i have a bunch of short hairs here right now it's not too bad but i just looked at my face in the mirror right now and it looks hilarious it does, it's not obvious but only because i know and i pointed it out and i was looking at my um stray stray hairs so that i could use some serum and not i don't like to look super polished but just what exactly my straight hairs were and i forgot that i accidentally cut some hair sometimes so just be aware of that when you are dermaplaning to make sure you move your hair out of your way <laughs> thank you so much for watching give this a like so more people can find this and subscribe and click the bell if you love this type of high quality living elegant life and style and relaxing content sign up to my newsletter if you want to stay updated and follow me on ltk for more style and beauty at gia g dixon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later